Aloha, I'm John Asanto, a planetarium educator at the Bishop Museum. Stargazing and learning to find the constellations can be a rewarding experience. And thankfully, this is something you can do from your own backyard or your balcony. So I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how you can use the sky map we offer to all our visitors. You can download a copy of it from our website. Now, each of these maps is good for a given month, and it shows the sky at about 9 p.m. in the evening. Our maps work well for all of the islands in the state, but if you're from the mainland, you'll notice that much of the southern sky won't be visible. Still, you can compare just how different things look from Hawaii compared to your own home. Now, usually when we use a sky map, we'd hold it above our heads. In doing so, we'll correctly align all four directions. If you prefer, you can hold the map in front of you with the direction you're facing pointed towards the ground. And when you hold it this way, the bottom half of the map is showing you what's in that part of the sky. For example, imagine you're watching the sunset. That's west, so you'd hold the map with west pointing down. In March and April, the map show you you can find Venus in the sky until late in the evening. Planets, bright stars, and the shapes of the constellations can help you figure out your directions as well. One of the easiest ways to find north is to look for what Hawaiians call Nahiku, or the Seven. You probably know it as the Big Dipper. By drawing a line between the two stars at the end of its cup, they point you to Polaris, or the North Star. Recognizable constellations like Orion the Hunter with his four-star body and his three-star belt can also help you figure out your directions. You'll find him setting over to the west as the winter constellations begin to leave us for the year. Try looking for the brighter stars and objects to help you out. If you're in the city, you may only see the brightest stuff that's out there. The map key in the lower left corner shows you how you can differentiate the brighter stars from the dimmer ones on the chart. And while there are a lot of astronomy apps available, you should give the star map a try first. Part of the fun is figuring out where everything is on your own. Besides, the longer you're in the dark, not looking at the bright light of your cell phone, the better your night vision becomes. So take your time, be safe, and have fun.